Okay. okay. So I'm Officer Harper Bellion Police. Um, is that right with you? Audio and video record, just our conversation? Okay. So, um, and you're Charlotte? Yeah. Tate is your last name? Okay. So basically. I really don't know why. Okay. Why we are here is because uh, the other officer that you saw there in plain clothes, that's Officer Brigo. Uh, we're all part of a specialty unit. Uh, we deal with vice stuff, um, some drugs, some stolen property, and a lot of prostitution. And that's basically why we're here. He ma set up an arrangement. Uh, I think he talked to both you and the gal next door, setting up a double, whatnot. Um, so she's being cooperative. She's telling us what's going on. So I would hope that we could have that same kind of rapport. All right. Um, so these are your ads here. Okay. Um, and do you? Well, that, we'll get to that. Basically, what we're hoping for is an open, honest yeah. talk between the two of us, okay? And at the end, what we would like to see happen is um, for you to get in contact with some some resources, all right, some uh, available people who might be able to provide some information as to how to not have to do this anymore, all right? Because ideally, um, we want this to stop, and we will do whatever. I understand. I'm not yeah. Like yeah. Okay. Uh, so, like I was saying, our ultimate goal is that there is no prostitution in Bellingham. That's our ultimate goal. Okay. So, whether that's arresting you or whether that's providing you with resources to where maybe you're able to get some other sort of job where you don't have to do this anymore. Okay. Um, so that's our that's our ultimate goal, and that's what we're hoping to accomplish here. All right. Obviously. Um, we don't have any handcuffs. We're not taking any jail right now because we want to have this dialogue. We want to have this communication as to, um, you know, how can we work together to make it so we don't have to have you up here prostituting in the future. And that's what our ultimate goal is. Okay. I would love to be out here for, you know, your first week and everything. I mean, yeah. I do this kind of stuff all the time. I okay. normally live in Las Vegas. I work in Las Yeah, Las that's what she was saying. Yeah. So okay. I, I dance out there. This isn't, like, something I have to do. Right. Just, I mean, not yeah, I hear you. you. I hear you. And we were out here, hanging you know, out, how fun we were at the Super Bowl. Yep. Just passing time for the, the parade on Wednesday. Right. You guys are going to go down to Seattle for that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you Seahawk or Bronco fan or just? Seahawks. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so, again, whether you end up uh, arrested today is most likely not going to happen because it sounds like you're being pretty open and honest, but I do have to That's read you these Miranda rights right. and just get these out of the way, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you for any questioning. If you wish, you can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions and make any statements. Do uh, you understand those rights? Okay. So having those rights in mind, I'm just going to go through kind of just uh, get some phone numbers, just get um, just general um, information about you, and then kind of get a little bit more specifics about um, how you operate and how because by not taking you to jail, by not booking you, we're hoping that you provide us with information that helps us better our, do our jobs down the road. You understand what I'm saying? So you can help provide that insight. Um, does that sound okay with you? Okay. Uh, so you got when did you come up here? We just got here in the Okay. You, you and who? You and... Okay. And you flew into Seattle or you flew up here? Okay. You drove all the way from Vegas? Yeah. Well, I had to come back to, I have family in Portland. I had to grab my dogs and stuff. And I still have to go back down there because they're moving. And okay. I'm gathering the rest of my belongings to take it back to Okay. So all three of you came up in that Mercedes? Yeah. Okay. That, uh, she, she came out here too, so she's getting dogs. I my, my, my two in there, the Stella okay. and Romeo, they have puppies. And she's oh, I get you. And right. she has... Okay. So you all, you two are friends. What's your connection with Brent? Brent, Brent yeah. is my significant other. He okay. He, he's, he's a good person. Goes to school. He's not. He just he does his online classes or whatever. But it's okay. Not, it's not like rich family type shit. So it's he doesn't right. benefit no, from anything that's going on. I mean, on yeah. I mean, yeah. I pay some of my bills and stuff. Okay. But it's not. It's nothing. It's not like it, he gets like ten percent. He does. Nothing like that. Okay. Do you? He cares about me. Okay. No, that's good. Like, it's good to have those relationships. Yeah. Like that. Like, okay. Nothing like that. 
Does he, is there anyone else that benefits directly from? Uh, okay. So you don't pay anybody on a okay, independent, just do your thing. Okay. So how many, um, how many Johns have you seen since you got up here? Okay. When was that last night? Or was that today? Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, so how did that end? Did you just tell them to leave? Or? Yeah, I told them to leave. He got really aggressive with me. I was like, I can't do that. Like, okay. You don't know who I am. And I was like, go. Okay. I don't want to tell them. Have you been getting quite a few calls from your ads, or has it been just so so? Yeah. Okay. I know, this is my first time out here. You've never been up to Bellingham before? No, I've been Okay. Okay. So you never made it this far north, recently? Okay. Have I you mean, I'm, I've been to Canada with family before, but that's not it. Have you uh, just heard anything about this region or, like, how how it does as far as business at all? No. no? I'm, I'm originally from Vancouver, but I, I don't really know Seattle. I know Portland, but that's not it. Okay. Do you know your girl from when she was in Washington? Uh, yeah, we know each other mutually from Washington. Okay. Okay, so you didn't go down to Vegas together. You guys just no, ended up being there. We, we, yeah, we, I was like, oh, I'm always late. Like, we're mutual friends on Facebook, too. Oh, I get you. Sorry. Sorry. And, um, yeah, we just kind of meet up there and start Okay. <coughs> What's a good address for you? Um, 4111 Northeast. Not in Give me that zip one more time. Nine eight. Nine eight. Okay. What's the? Uh, so do you have two phones? Business and personal, or? My phone. You I just have one phone. Okay, I yeah. get you. <laughs> What's your real phone number then? Like your hard phone number? That's. Did I give you? Oh, I just gave you my address. It's my real number is three six zero. Okay. Six two four two nine six five. And do you use email at all? Uh, not really. Okay. Do you, uh, if we were to email you something, would you get it or would you? Oh, like personally? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have like a personal like for. Uh, What's that? Uh, it's uh, Miss Noel, M I S S N O E L. Okay. So. We may end up wanting to contact you. Basically, how it's going to go. I mean, again, you're being really forthright and honest, and I appreciate that. And hopefully, that continues. But what we like to see happen is um, we have this call, we have this talk. At the end of it, we'll give you a name, we'll give you a number of somebody um, in an area in which you are going to be like your home base. Uh, we don't really deal with out of state all that often, so it might be a gal in the Seattle area. Um, if you have somebody in Vancouver, okay. And the hope would be that you reach out and make some sort of contact with this person just so you can at least um, see what other options are out there. And I know you're saying that you just kind of do this on the side. This isn't your, your main deal. But um, we like to at least have you contact them just so you can at least hear what they have to say and maybe it will apply. If it doesn't apply any, uh, uh, for this aspect of your life, maybe in another aspect of your life, um, whatever they're able to help you out with. And it makes us feel good that maybe something is, is happening um, to better this situation. So. Um, that's why we, we're just getting this contact information from you. Um, and so Brent is just a boyfriend? Yeah. We've been together for a year now. Okay. <coughs> my family, like, it's not like, like my, our family is like each other. Okay. Do you have any other aliases? No. Besides? Oh, you go by Chanel online? Okay. You've never used any of no. else online? Okay. All right. What's, um, does Brent live with you? Yeah. In Vancouver? So that same Vancouver address? Yeah. Actually, it might be different. That's my parents' address. Like, we've resided there together, but... Okay. Um, are you trying to refer to our engagement? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have to go home. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wherever you guys, like, if you were to say, uh, I'm going to go home. Well, if I said, well, if you were like, okay, let's go home, where would home be? Like, if you were like driving back to ba Vegas or wherever, like, where's where would you call um, home? Vegas, I have the, I have the address. 
Okay. I'm in, I'm in transition to like getting an actual weekly. Okay. So. It's like a weekly, but it's like it's like an apartment. Oh, I get you. Know. Okay. Okay. What's his phone number? Uh. <laughs> That's the area code? And he just has that one phone? Yeah. All right. Does he have an email? I I don't okay. How long... So I know, you, again, I know you said that you just kind of do this on the side. So how long have you done this on the side? Off and on for about a year now. Okay. How did you start? A girlfriend. I'm no longer friends with him. Okay. Kind of like, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'll be honest with you, I dance. Yep. So, like, I kind of knew it existed. Yeah. But I've never, but. I'm so you've never, like, from the job had it from come around? When I first started dancing, I began to be like two years now. Okay. I was 18, so like, yeah. I first started, like, no. Yeah, pretty good. Do you know, is that pretty prevalent within your the club you're at? Do all the girls no, do it? No, it's a whole other ball game. Like you, you don't have to do that out there. Yeah. I mean, you can, and you have to have to make money, but it's so much more safer to be in a strip club than to To do it that route. Okay. That's potentially why I moved out there. Um, do you have any kids? No kids. No kids? Okay. My dog. That's your kids. <laughs> You got to Bellingham yesterday, and that's the, this is the yeah. first time you've ever been to Bellingham? Yeah, I've been to Seattle quite a few times. Okay. Like I said, I'm, I'm originally from Vancouver. Okay. Washington, obviously. Right. <coughs> and you got up here in the Mercedes. Are you telling me I'm fine? Um, that's to be determined, but I don't. Mm -hmm. I can't guarantee that it's not going to happen, but I don't think it is. Okay. okay. Why would you tell it? Um, if for whatever reason the information isn't kind of coming as we we hoped, or we we find out something that maybe someone's not being truthful, with or we feel like we're kind of getting, you know, our chain pulled, okay. whatnot, then that makes us kind of lose faith in the whole process. And so then, yeah, we might go a different route, but I don't really, I don't think that that necessarily happens. And you're gonna um, take the car as a way back as well. Yeah. And when were you planning on doing that? Wednesday, we were really, I think we were going to say Wednesday Seattle. night because if we had been drinking, we're not going to do it. Yeah, so okay. So we'll probably wait until Thursday And you'd be going but back to Vegas? I just did if you guys want to leave. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, and you'd be headed back to Vegas Thursday yeah. is what you're thinking? Okay. I don't know. I might have to, because I have to, so even once we leave here, I still have to go back to Portland or Vancouver. And right. Right. I mean, I don't know. It was not too crazy. Yeah, I was I saw some video. Oh, you get were rioting in the streets. Yeah. Well, not necessarily rioting. Yeah. They were like lighting fires in the streets. Yeah. I don't think it was too bad. And I heard now, because they were up on some gondolas and they were like broke some glass that was up there. But now, there's people are like putting together a fund to repair it. And I feel like that's just typical Seattle. Like, oh, they do like break peace, peace and harmony, though. No, like everybody's like coming together to try to repair it. Okay. Uh, so you guys came up here in the car, so who paid for all the gas, or how was that arranged? Yeah, okay, pitch Just pitched in. Yeah. What does Brent do for work? Brent goes to school. Okay. He's, uh, he's playing crunch and he's graduating here. Okay. And he goes, what school online? He goes to his PCC class in college. Okay. Uh, who paid for the hotel? Um, we split. We split. It's been running, but we Okay. Just you two pitched in, or all three you pitched in? All three of us.
having just one client since you came, yeah. you got here? What about her? I think she has maybe one. I don't know. Okay. <coughs> did he give you money uh, yesterday, that guy? Did yeah. you, you, how much did he get? Is that because you paid up front, or how did that happen? Yeah, yeah I haven't sent an donation yet. Okay. But, um, yeah, he sent a account or whatever, and I just started out with him, and then he just started asking for all sorts of crazy shit, and I was like, dude, I'm not doing that, and he wasn't asking. Okay. I was like, well, you can either continue and stay, or you can leave, and just leave. Okay. So what's your rate for, you do, like, per... Um, act or the per hour, half hour, how do you guys, how do you break um, that up? It just depends, but it was 160 half hour. Okay. 250 an hour. Um, and were there any, do you have any extras beyond that? Like if you want to do something specific, would there be I like extra? I talked to them. Okay. It's not advertised, obviously. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and you do you just do Backpage, or have you done TNA, or? I do TNA before. Okay. Any other websites besides those two? Um. A H B. California, yeah, I haven't heard of that. I think, well, I think Okay. Um. So. Here's another reason why I obviously would want, I mean, it's not just that we don't want um, you doing this, because uh, I think, I mean, I, and I think you'd admit that there's better things you could be doing. Uh, but we're also just really, um, you know, we've, we've gone to a lot of trainings, we, we've talked to a lot of girls, and there's obviously that dangerous side, like the guy yesterday, if he, if he decided that no, he wasn't going to accept no, you know, and then there's kind of that aspect of it, right? Have you ever had the, any assaults of any kind? Yeah. I mean, the worst I've ever had, I've had a guy lunge at me, but then I lunge back at him and okay, you know, okay, she's, she's not some dainty, frail little girl. Yeah. She's not the worst that's ever happened. Okay. You know? And where was that? I think that was in Portland. Okay. Yeah, that was in Portland. Okay. And that's when I first got into it, too. Was in Portland. Have you ever been arrested for prostitution ever? Uh, I'll be honest with you, I got in trouble in Vegas. But okay. Never been there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that was just one time? Yeah, obviously, I was just, I, I was just advised to cover. I oh, okay. Stuff, so. Yeah. And that was just at a hotel or? Yeah, it was at a hotel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So there's technically an arrest, but you haven't been convicted, is what I'm gathering. So you got arrested for the act. I never got arrested. But you got a lawyer, and you're going to say you're going to well, fight it. Yeah. I so I know they didn't necessarily put you in custody, take you to jail, but yeah. you got, like, a ticket saying here's the court yeah. date. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have a date on that? No, I don't. That was my literally first thing that was So... Year? Uh, Two years? Three? No, I just moved out there. Okay. So, so November. November ish? Yeah. Okay. That was horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> so, how did that work? It was just at a bar and then he just came up. And yeah, they're allowed to drink, they can't finish their drink. Yeah. But, and they can only drink beer and wine. We I can do that too. That. Yeah. Really? Mm hmm. How did that work though? Because. Look, you guys get inebriated. <laughs> 
Well, that's the point you can't finish. <laughs> yeah. But how that works, though, you just keep buying to play the part? I mean, because, like, if they're doing seats out there, I mean, they're going to walk around the studio for a while. Yeah. Girls. I think you only get, like, a certain amount. Like, you can have one drink every three hours. Or, you know, oh, okay. So you can't get, like, gone, you know? That's crazy. Yeah. It's, um, I dance around closely in bars and in Oh, yeah. Part of your bar tab, and I guess. And then you walk around with a dentist, you know, the candles have the voice, and that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tattoos? Do you have any tattoos? No, no tattoos? My hair's just cute, though. That's it. So, did you pay cash for the hotel? The three of you? Yeah, or she loaded it on her side. Okay. Do you have your phone on you? Can you show me? Um, we're hoping to get, no, if not names, but at least numbers of guys who are trying to set up dates with you. If you're able to show us that. So you talk to him on the phone? I don't know. I, got, I, I didn't understand what the hell was going on. He called me from two different numbers, and that's how I knew. <laughs> Something was going on. <laughs> uh, there's, there's one. All right. I'm going to read that off. 360. 540. Oh, I think that was you. Yeah, that was us. Okay. <laughs> when was that? Five four zero 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 two one. When was that? Was that just today? Yeah. Seen it. Seen it. It was at seven thirty four, but my phone's saying it's six six p.m. That's not right. What time is it? Is it seven? It's seven o'clock right now. Okay, my phone's jacked up. Okay. Um, that was sent then. Uh, it was that was sent at six. These are all text. Do you ever do phone calls? No. It's always text? Usually they text. Or usually I can call and they come and text me. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So who, yeah, I guess keep going after or before us or after us or. Try to say the message to you, but oh, it was a voice call. Yeah, but it, you obviously didn't speak clear enough. It's been six so three, three, so nice. Really, really okay, who was the one from yesterday?
You think that's him? Yeah, I think that might be him. Okay. doing this in Portland? Yeah. Okay. Did you have any regulars or anybody that you Yeah, do? I had a few regulars in the strip club. I kind of wanted more. Okay. Like yeah. Okay. Well, my girlfriend, she's like, yeah, you can have a shoe. Yeah. Okay, going forward from here, um, that's really about all I have. Um, the dude, Officer Brugo, is talking with your friend next door. He's going to come over and he'll just talk to you, <coughs> talk to you about that whole um, getting a hold of this gal, talking with her. Um, what, we're, uh, what we do, and it's not to be necessarily a Yeah, no, we have pretty good um, surveillance for this sort of stuff. So, um, yeah. Uh, he's going to come, he's going to talk to you, and he's going to give you a name and a number of a gal to, to call. And he's probably going to give you like a two week window, and we'd hope that you'd be able to at least make that. Okay. Yeah. And so we're going to talk with her and just make sure that that happened. But again, like, it's nice. I would assume it's somewhat similar to that, um, but with a little bit more ability, I guess, as far as real life, this is what's available, this is our options that you can take. Again, it may be geared towards more of girls who only do this for uh, their living and have nothing else besides that. Okay. Um, but again, I'm hoping that you at least will go into it with an open mind and just oh, take, yeah, take what course. you can. I, just, I, I, I know I'm not that girl that like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to survive. I'm not going to be able to see my next bill. Like, right. It's not that serious. Yeah. I eventually have goals. Yeah. I want to go back to school. Yep. Yeah, for sure. So she, um, she's not affiliated with law enforcement. The only contact she has is when we give her, uh, you know, a name and say this gal might be giving you a call. Okay. And so um, if there's stuff that you maybe you. Is she going to have to call and say Um, Possibly. I'm not sure exactly what she's. Um, but I think that <coughs> just the phone call itself might be sufficient. I'm not sure what other requirements come along with it, but uh, as far as I know, it's just a phone call. So uh, we're just in the testing phases right now, so we may not end up doing it, but we're seeing how we like it. So pretty clear. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to just wait here, um, and then I'll. Have my coworker come and just give you that information, okay? okay. And then, yeah, make yourself comfortable. Do you need anything from next door? 